More than 600 confirmed cases of monkeypox around the country right now. More than 100 of those cases are right here in New York City. News 12's Kurt Semder is in the Alert Center with the latest on the response to this rise in cases we're seeing, Kurt. And today, city and state health officials spoke alongside the White House pandemic team all to discuss the rollout of the monkeypox vaccine. The city's health commissioner taking time to address troubles that New Yorkers have had in booking appointments. We've reserved a subset of our vaccine supply for community based organizations and for providers to high risk populations like HIV providers so that they can make us direct referrals to get people vaccinated. But again, we're in an environment of really restricted supply. And so, you know, we our estimation was this was the best, fastest way to get out the door. And just a short time ago, the city's Department of Health tweeting this out, saying as of today, 141 people have tested positive for orthopox virus in New York City, which is presumed to be monkeypox. We also heard from the Stonewall Democrats of NYC today on social media. They said monkeypox on the verge of becoming a permanent issue for the LGBTQ community due to mismanagement on the local, state and federal levels. They called on the mayor and the governor to establish better communication about the virus, engaging the community partners and guaranteeing an equitable rollout of the vaccine as these supplies become available. They were also making it very important that our community has seen what happens when a virus is ignored and allowed to unfairly impact us, asking to learn from history and to make things a little bit better. Reminder, you can head to news12.com for the very latest on monkeypox as this situation continues to develop. Amanda. All right, Kurt, thanks so much.